Hi, and welcome to the first ever episode of What's the Hold Up? I'm Zachary Zagranis. And I'm Heather Zagranis. We are doing this podcast to go back and look at things that we watched as children or in our adolescence and see if they are as good as we remember them. Or as bad as we remember them, if we remember them being bad. Correct. <laughs> Basically just going to see how they hold up. Hence the ha, name! Ha, ha. <laughs> see what we did there? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, wait, you weren't asking me, were you? You were asking the audience. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> we'll cut that out. <laughs> um, we decided to start with Alf because someone, one of Heather's friends, very nicely gifted us uh, the first three seasons. On, Thanks, Ken. Yep. Shout out to Ken Huntley. Woo. K Hunt in the house. <laughs> if you say his name together really fast, sounds like cunt. Ha-ha. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I haven't decided yet if we're going to have this be an all-ages show or not. <laughs> so <laughs> we may cut that, we may not. So fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, decided. So, <laughs> so we decided that, because uh, we might do movies. Um, well, obviously, we're starting with a show. So we decided we'll probably do about four episodes. Um since of a that show. Yeah. of a show, yeah, because that sounds well, we can't do four episodes of a movie now, can we? <laughs> sure, we can. Um, so what are your what are your memories of Elf? I don't have a lot of memories actually. I I recall that Elf is this this creature. He's an alien. Um, he comes from Melmac. He eats cats, and his name is Gordon Shumway. That's about it. I must point out that um, Heather is three years younger than me, so it doesn't sound like much, but whereas I was about six or seven, probably, when Alf was on, <laughs> um, she would have been like three or four, so... Um, yeah, so I remember very little. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, I remember that he came from Melmac. Um, I actually I believe... remember the cartoon more. The cartoon, yeah, I remember the car. I was going to mention that. I remember the cartoon, too. Um, I, yeah, I believe he had like sort of a Superman vibe going on. Uh, I believe Mel Mac was blown up or something, wasn't it? Destroyed, and he ended up on Earth. And because um, I know he tries to contact his friends at some point in the series, um, Rhonda, who was also, I believe, his girlfriend on the cartoon, and I don't remember the other person's name. Um, <clears throat> I remember that. I remember that it was obviously. Uh, one of many ripoffs of E.T. that were popular in the 80s after after the success of E.T., um, where most of the ripoffs <laughs> seem to be centered around movies like uh, Mac and Me and whatnot, I guess, I never Elf. I saw that either. No? Mac and Me, no. Ah, Paul Rudd would hate you. Um, <laughs> I guess Alf was, you know, at least one genius person was like, let's do it as a TV show. Um, so, yeah, I remember a lot of the comedy was from, like, Fish Out of Water type stuff you know like Alf eats cats but cats are pets on our planet wackiness ensues yeah. um I also remember <laughs> there's a uh there's a neighbor um Mrs. Harmonica or something <laughs> Achmonic I don't know I can't pronounce the her the, the London Harmonica? Philharmonic is like their like neighbor and <laughs> nice. yeah. she's um I know that she always does like a Michigan J Frog thing going on where like she'll always see Alf and then when she gets her husband to look, there's no one there kind of thing. Like, you know, like, no, but I swear to God yeah. it was there and he was talking. Oh, yeah, sure it was. <laughs> um, so I know there's that going on, too. She uh, was a nosy, busybody kind of bitch. Pretty much. Sounds yeah. Like. Yeah. Um, cool. I remember Alf had a crush on Lynn. The old the sister. Um, well, actually, let's break down. Okay, so the family there was Willie, the dad. There was Kate, the mom. Lynn was the older sister, and Willie was um, the young boy who no. was instrumental. And in, I'm sorry, not Willie. I already said Willie, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, Shit. Billy. Brian. Brian. Oh, you, you're on IMDb, aren't you? Bastard. <laughs> All right, yeah, Brian was, that's right, <laughs> Brian was the uh, was the, the precocious youth who was instrumental in Elf being able to stay with the, the, the Tanners, right? Yeah. I was the just going to say, yeah. the, it's like the first Tanner family. That's right. I wonder if they're related. They're related to, the, oh, the, we never got that Elf full house crossover <laughs> right? that we deserved. We should have. 
Oh, speaking of yeah. that, and we should do that at another time, but um, not for this episode. But do you remember the Alf made for TV movie that was sort of like a series capper that came out like no. in the nineties, ten years after anybody cared what? about Alf? Yeah. So, okay, we don't have. Can you quickly, since you're already on there, see how many uh, seasons Alf is? It was four. Four. Okay, so we're missing the last season. So we have the 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 um the first three seasons and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So uh, we're obviously not going to get to it. But I don't know if you know this. Um, and it's fresher in my mind because I believe it was it was uh probably some cracked article or something. You know, like most um <laughs> like list of series um finales that were downers, sort of like the dinosaurs one. You know, where everybody dies. Right. Um. The Alf- spoiler alert. Oh, sorry. For like a twenty-year-old show, <laughs> um, the Alf, the Alf finale is uh, he's his friends are supposed to be coming to pick him up, but the government gets him first. Oh, and that's how the series ends. What? Yeah. So then there was a so again. I'm you have the thing. Oh, you already shut off your phone. That doesn't matter, anyways. I was gonna say I, I want to say the series ended probably like in 1988, maybe. Uh, 87. Well, it's just- 1986 to 2004, but... Because I 2004 might have been when the... No, 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 that's not right. 1986 to 1990. 1990, okay. So the, the made-for-TV movie thing, I think, was uh like in the later 90s. Um, it was definitely when I was in high school. And mm-hmm. it was sort of like a, a... I don't know, like a weird capper thing to it. Like, like it starts out with him in the government research facility... Oh. And it has none of the tanners, and these kids like break him out or something like that, and then he eventually gets to go home. Well, there is no home, but he, he finds like there are obviously survivors when Melmac was blown up. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of a downer. Is it on there at all? Like Project Elf, Project Elf. Yes. What does it oh, say? Nineteen ninety eight. Nineteen ninety six. Nineteen ninety six. Okay, so six years after the show ended, so not quite as bad, but still well after anybody was probably thinking about Elf at all. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I remember all that. Uh, the, the the show itself, I I don't really remember any particular episodes. I know that there's one where Alf um, sings into a cucumber <laughs> and does the. Uh, remember Tom Cruise's underwear dance from Risky Business? Yeah. That like everything in a certain time in the '80s, like every movie or television yes. show had a reference to. I, he does that, mm-hmm. and then there's also. An episode where he makes a music video to apologize to Lynn. Wow. And there's one where, or may, it might even be a series of episodes, he becomes friends with, like, this blind person. Because, hmm. obviously, the whole joke always being that no right. one's supposed to see him or else, you know, <laughs> the government will get... Well, which happened. <laughs> um, and I think that's about it. So, I'd, yeah, I'm interested to see if it if it is just a typical 80s sitcom that just happens to have a gimmick, as in, like, you know, horrible to watch now. Um, <laughs> painful. Painful. Oh, it's like when I tried to rewatch Cheers. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's like that or if it's if it's a cut above. I'm I'm going to go right out on a limb and say probably the only reason that we still remember it is because just the alien gimmick. Yeah. There was a comic book, too. Like, There was a me. comic book. There was a cartoon for the Genesis. A cartoon, yeah. Game? There's a comic book too. There's oh, a game com- for the Genesis. Yeah. Um and uh yeah, oh yeah, and what's 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 else famous uh catchphrase? I kill me. That's right. Yeah, I remember that. Um also, yeah, he was every he hosted the Hollywood Square hosted. Wow. He's on He was on the Hollywood Squares yeah. for a while. He hosted the Tonight Show <laughs> as a guest host. Interesting. Um yes. Um He wasn't the first puppet to do that right to host the tonight show as i guess i was yeah i don't know i know the muppets did it but i thought that was in later years like once disney acquired them i don't know know. but so that's what we remember of alf and so what we're going to do now is we're going to watch uh like i said four episodes of the show yep and then we're going to come back and record our thoughts after watching alf to see if it stands up to the way that we remember it (laughs) <laughs> or if it's or much remember worse. hearing about it or remember hearing about it yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what we think about it now so um stay tuned stay tuned <laughs> we'll be back after these commercial messages <laughs> <laughs>
panicking. Listen, Alf, there's a SWAT team on its way. Well, that calmed me right down. Hi, everyone. I'm home. Hi, honey. Supper's almost ready. Great. I'm starved. What's in the box, Willie? I'm fine, Alf. How are you? <laughs> Racked with curiosity. Cloaked in conundrum. And carrying a thesaurus. No. What's in that box? Okay, and we're back from the Tanner household. Yeah. Zach, what did Watching you think? Um, I thought it was pretty good overall. I actually, I, I could watch, I could watch this still. It's yeah. not bad. As far as um, 80 shows go, it actually holds up fairly well. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. It, it wasn't like, it wasn't completely unwatchable. We actually watched more episodes than than we had originally planned because we we were enjoying it a little more than uh, than we thought we would. Yeah. <laughs> um, our son even uh, was enjoying it uh, when he woke up from his nap. <laughs> well, actually, it's f- <laughs> it's funny because um, Michael, our our oldest son. Um, had said to me when we were watching it the other day, you weren't here, but he's like, he's like, how come all these 80s shows had to have a gimmick? And I was like, yeah. he's like, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I fucked that up. He, he goes, we were talking about sitcoms and he goes, did they all have a gimmick? Uh, and I was like, I'm thinking about it. I'm like, okay, let's see who's the boss uh, uh, yeah. guy has to go and become housekeeper. But well, well, yeah, <laughs> cheers, you know, in the bar. Um, you know, small wonder. Rob- I'm like, yeah, no, they all had to have like some contrived like setup. Uh, so I was like, no, you're right. <laughs> the DVD collection that we have, um, the DVD menu is is amazing. Yeah, that's um, pretty awesome. They put a lot of work into that. I like that. Uh, yeah. it's like a live DVD menu with Alf. Uh, not that we're shilling for the DVD company, but I just I happen to think that was pretty cool. Yeah, I'd never seen anything like that where there's information on each episode read out to you by Alf if you so wished. Yeah. It was kind of (laughs) neat. I actually wish that they would introduce that to like every DVD. Like I wish you could like pop in Schindler's List and he's like, now in this chapter there's only a little bit of color to represent the little girl in her dress. Oh my god. (laughs) And this is when the Jews died. (laughs) Ha! I kill me! Oh boy. That would be awful, actually. It would be awful. That was tasteless, and I apologize. <laughs> yeah, so I, I it's funny because in, in the earlier I had made reference to E.T. Uh, in the pilot, they name-checked E.T. I'm just reading oh, yeah, some Oh, right, yeah, right I away. Had. Yeah. Well, well, at least they put it right on Front Street. They're like, we know what we're ripping off. You know what we're ripping off. Let's yeah. just say it and then never Gotta mention it Gotta give them props for that. Um, which brings me to... So, okay... So one of the problems that I have with the show was I understand how branding works and whatnot. So I understand the reason in the real world. But as far as show logic goes, um, it makes sense for them to call E.T. E.T. because he can't talk, okay? And he never tells them his name. Alf not only speaks fluent English, but tells them, you know, fairly close to the beginning, my name is Gordon Shumway. (laughs) So Alf start, you know standing for alien life form um why would they continue to call him that it's a it's a pet name but that's like saying like you know calling the kids child well yeah i guess there are parents that do that i just think it's funny that it's like you know you know my name yet you still consider you still um continue to call me elf like an acronym but he doesn't really He's not upset about it either. Well, no. Like, he doesn't care. True. That's true. Or he doesn't seem to care anyway. I guess uh, for him, there's more important things going on. I feel like Alf is one of those people that he jokes to hide his pain. Well, yeah. The the pain of his his planet is Entire planet being destroyed. Um, Yeah, that's true. And, you know, most of his friends and family are dead. Um, Yeah. (laughs) So, I mean... Um, I also like, there was a line from uh, the pilot, my planet's name is Melmac, and that's also what it's made of, which was <laughs> a nice little nod to Krypton and Kryptonite. Right. Um, huh. I just got that. 
<laughs> That's really sad. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. What else did I notice from the pilot? Oh, Alf's voice. Much like Homer Simpson, Alf's voice was deeper in the early episodes. It yeah, seems I like. did notice that. Um, um, can I just say the, the puppet is really good? Like, I... Or, like, the, the suit, I guess? No, the suit is weird. Yeah, no, the, the suit, puppet... The, the transition good. from puppet to suit is very jarring because the is suit is bizarre, not as yes. good. No, but, the puppet is really good yeah, for what good. I remember. I didn't realize... I. Well, not that I didn't realize. I didn't remember that the ears moved. The I kind of thought it was just like the mouth and arm. I didn't really. He was able to do a lot of expression oh, yeah. and whatnot. Um, I actually, when we were reading about on IMDb, I guess they dropped the the person in the suit um, fairly early. I think it was after like the first season. Yeah, which kind of makes sense because it just it, too much to do. It well, it was. I guess it was too expensive too. But it also just it did. It never looked. Like I said, yeah. the transition from puppet to person yeah, suit just didn't weird. look right. It was kind of weird. Stick with the puppet. Um, it's like, I don't know if you remember much from the Child's Play movies, uh, <laughs> but there are a few scenes in, I want to say one, maybe in two as well, yeah. where Chucky is uh, yeah. a little person in a suit, mm -hmm. and it's just ridiculous. I think that's in the first one. Um, <laughs> let's see. What else did I have written down? Brian dresses like a newsie. That was pretty much just the pilot. <laughs> But, Brian um, dresses like a newsie. He kind of did. Uh, oh, and I also love that uh, the mother, Kate, her her eighties mom mullet is amazing. His her her momlet. Momlet. That's great. That's absolutely <laughs> what it was. A momlet. The momlet. Um, <laughs> which was popular back then. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So you you in particular had a problem with um with the Tanner patriarch. Oh, he's if a I'm dick. <laughs> you didn't like Willie? Willie? Willie's a dick. I can't stand him. It's funny because I remember Kate being the the horrible, you know, but she's bitchy not. one. And and I only say that because back then that was how a lot of the the you know the mother characters were. It's like let's put it all on the mother to be the like bitch. Like, can we keep it? Like, dad's all in, but mom's the one that's all like, right. yeah, you know. Um, but yeah, she's not that bad. Like she, she spars a lot verbally with Alf, but she's not. Willie's the one but that's it's just lovingly. like, like yeah. she does it lovingly. Yeah, Willie's like, the one that's just down. Eventually, like, I mean, you know, not right away. Don't but, do this. Don't do that. Oh my God, Willie just like, I, even the kids. The kids are like the most accepting children. Mm. Even the old, the even Lynn. And, and you would think Lynn would be like, you know, the teenager who's like, but mom. This alien's really weird. Yeah, I gotta say that for that, that's the other thing I liked about the show is is for the older sister character. She's cool as shit. She is. Yeah, there there was one episode again. <clears throat> I don't think you were there when we were watching it, but there was one episode. Um, I'm already fucking up the whole premise of the podcast. You weren't there. It's okay. Um, I'm probably gonna cut that part. Out. Uh, but no, there was there was uh there was one episode where she was talking about wanting to be on the phone more. And, you know, Sally such and butt munch has, has her own line, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Um, but other than that, though, yeah, she's not like the, you know, the, the typical older sister character where she's like a drag and she's like, yeah. oh, yeah, you know, like she's actually really like cool. She's totally um, cool with Alf, basically, from yeah. the get go. I mean, obviously, the little boy is is fine with Alf from the get go because right. that's that's how little boys are. Yes. Stereotypically and non stereotypically. That's how little boys are. Like, cool. <laughs> You're an alien. That's yeah. awesome. Let's let's keep you. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty much. But Lynn has no. She she doesn't feel like that. She doesn't have to like accept him, and and she does. She accepts him probably more than the other people in the show. I besides the the little boy. Um, and like Willie's so excited to like meet an alien and like converse with them and whatnot, and as soon as he does, like he's just a dick to him. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, all the time. He's protective of him, but he's still a dick all the time. I can't. I don't understand it. Like I know, I know Alf can be vexing, but like everybody else is vexed by him too. Well, I don't know if you caught to what but Willie's uh, occupation is. I didn't. He's a social worker. 
That's right. So that's right. I, I kind of wonder if I that's did, his I like attitude towards that. the people that he's helping do. Right? Like, how are you a social worker? You no, no. He he just annoys me in general. Like the, yeah. the actor, I I feel bad, but like his voice is grating. You will not touch the phone. You will not touch the food in the refrigerator. Well, he sounds we are like, gone. Well, you are not are to go over there. He sounds like he's do pooping. anything. You're not to move from this spot. Yeah, he's he a definitely sounded robot. like for four seasons he yeah. he had constipation. He's just like a constipated robot, is what he is. And <laughs> so, constipated robot. Like no joy, no no happiness in in this man's life. Even though he has two beautiful children that adore him, and a wife that loves him very much. He is a miserable prick. Yeah, he is kind of a miserable <laughs> bastard. Everybody else is cool. He's not. So that's thumbs down to Willie. <laughs> um, but other than that, <laughs> the show is fine. Um, there were a lot of corny jokes, like used to be, you know, really the sitcom style, but. Um, it works because it's coming out of Alf is supposed to be corny, like like a like a purposely shitty joke teller. You know what yeah. I mean? Like he's 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 trying to have a really bad sense of humor. You know, what I mean? like that's mm-hmm. the character. So it, it does it it works because of who, what it's coming out of. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that was that. Uh, can't escape with any eighty series. This one wasn't too bad, but with any eighty series, it's hard to go back to what was now like you know. 30 some odd years ago and um and and it's just very uh the way that they treated things that were a little bit more sensitive about nowadays like for instance we watched the episode with the homeless man um and yeah. they're fighting over whether or not to call him a bum or not and uh you know it was just kind of like cringy right? kind of like oh this poor guy um <laughs> you know just things like that but there were there weren't too many there weren't too many. I mean, you know, they made it. There was there was uh, an episode where they they got a lot of laughs out of the fact that you know Alf was wearing women's clothing. <laughs> um, but even that, it wasn't too, too. Uh, it wasn't like too offensive or anything. Actually, I mean, I some of them I've seen some shows from back then that definitely mm-hmm. you couldn't air now. But Alf wasn't too too bad. Um. <sighs> so the big question then. Does it hold up? I think that Alf holds up, yeah. I think Alf holds up. I think that I could, part. yeah. I definitely think that it's as good as it was then, if not now. I mean, it was never a masterpiece. But as far as... Uh, no, but it was entertaining. Uh, yeah, no, I think that Alf held up. I would actually watch it again. Um, well, yeah, now now that the the two-year-old has a, has a taste for it... Uh, We'll probably be watching more. Uh, uh, yeah, he likes that's him. true. So, <laughs> and what's funny is he's not interested in like the Muppets very much, but he's interested in this puppet. That is weird. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think because he, well, like you said, he's an alien. Little boys like alien. That's true. That's very true. Um. All right. So that was our first episode. Um. It might have been a little bit rough, but we're we're learning as we go. Next up, in honor of Halloween. We will be doing a scary childhood favorite of Heather's. First movie I ever saw in theaters that I recall, anyway, that I remember. Um, old classic, Angelica Houston in The Witches. The Witches. Ooh. Yes. Love it. <laughs> me.